it's August 13th. I'm back here on the home farm. Today I'm going to be planting all of our fall food plots that we do here. Uh, the way we kind of set it up is we have one big main food plot that's usually either in corn or soybeans. This year it's corn. It's about three and a half acres. And then uh, we have two little micro plots here. Then I have a little micro plot in the timber that I'll also be planting today. Dad and I came back here about three weeks ago, tilled up all of our micro plots, just got the soil kind of up and ready to go. Uh, today I'm going to scuff back over it with the tractor and tiller. As you can see, it's getting a little weedy, so we're going to scuff it up, get those weeds out of there, get a nice soft soil bed for these seeds, um, and then we'll run back over it with the four-wheeler and the roller and then we'll be good. Uh, there's some rain in the forecast, so hopefully here in the next week or two we'll have the seed will be germinating and starting to come up pretty well. So this year we decided to go with the new seed company. Uh, they're called Hitlist Seed and Mineral. You can find all their stuff at hitlistdeer.com. Um, just from what I've seen on Instagram of their clover plots and everything right now, they're doing really good, so I'm really excited to see how this turns out. This is their Braska food plot blend, and it consists of Dakin radish, purple top turnips, and forage rape. So really, we've just got a buffet of food for the deer come fall. Um, they'll have a big, big cornfield to pick through, and then uh, these little, these little fall plots, and it seems to work out really good. It helps helps keep the deer on their property and uh, keep them coming year round. So. I'm going to hop in the tractor, I'm going to till it up real quick, and then we'll get planted. Alright, so I just got all three of my little micro plots tilled up. Now would be the time that I'm getting ready to seed. Uh, due to time, I have to head up to school today, get back, move back into my apartment, and uh, there's not really any rain in the forecast for the next few days, so I think Dad's going to end up planning when he gets back home. Um, hopefully he can get some footage while I'm gone, and uh, we'll be able to wrap up the video that way, but I just wanted to leave you guys with a little tip on how I figure out how much seed I need for each plot. So... I actually get on my phone, I go to my Onyx, and I map out the area of each of my each of my food plots. And um, with this being an acre bag, I can then take that area and figure out how many pounds per acre I need for each given plot. So how I do that is I take my fish scale. This is just a normal fish scale. It has pounds and ounces. So it's a really accurate. Uh, this one's from Whisker Tackle. So I take my fish scale, I just take an old five gallon bucket, I weigh the five gallon bucket. This one weighs two pounds, two pounds exactly. So I'll just subtract two pounds from, uh, from the total weight and then I'll add my seed. So like this first plot, it's it will take about 2.7 pounds of seed to do the whole thing. This bag is 6 pounds, it's 6 pounds to the acre, um, so that's kind of how I figure that out. Just a little tip for you guys, hopefully it helps. Um, if I don't make it back to film dad planning these plots, uh, this will be the end of the video. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed and good luck this year.